I want to talk to you about something really personal. What's up everyone, Nathaniel here and welcome back to my channel. If you didn't know, I was part of a 3 month coaching program to better myself as a lettering artist and to improve my business. And it was part of Scotty Russell's uh, Perspective Collective Side Hustlers Coaching Program. I was with 12 other people who were dedicated to really push ourselves and do our best to improve ourselves and how we show ourselves to the world. A few days ago, I posted on my Instagram the quote, remember why you started and I want to share with you how I did the lettering piece I posted. While the time lapse is ongoing, I'd like to talk to you something uh, a little bit personal and I want to share with you what I learned through this coaching program in the last three months. And earlier this year, when Scotty first approached me, I was hesitant because I wasn't sure whether I was ready to spend that much money on coaching. But then after a few conversations, I was convinced that Scotty is the right person to help me. So I decided to invest in myself and invest in my coach. My goal for this coaching was to increase my revenue twofold. So when it finally started, I was super excited and things were going well. We were all having our weekly team calls and our one-on-ones with Scotty. He helped me immensely by sending me the things that I need. But also, around this time, in February, I went through something that shook my whole world. Things became hard. I needed to spend time with my family back home in the Philippines. I was torn because I wanted to make the most out of the coaching program. I invested money in it, I invested time in it, and I want to get the most out of it, but my mind was simply just not in the right headspace. I couldn't pick myself together, and with this um, coronavirus um, situation going on around the world, I couldn't focus and I couldn't get back to my usual self. I thought I gave myself enough time to recover, but two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, one month is not enough to recover from losing someone. So when I came back to Singapore, things still didn't feel right. I was doing what I needed to do. I was keeping myself busy. I was putting in the work, but things were just not clicking. And I am glad that I had my family and friends, and of course my coaching fam, throughout all these things. They've been one of the constants. Every week we'll have coaching calls, we have hot seat calls, we have accountability calls, and of course I have direct line to Scotty. And those have been helpful to slowly pick myself back up. I slowly figured out that what I've been missing was here all along. I was pretty much lost, but by the third month, I was starting to pick up the pieces. I knew from that time that maybe I wasn't looking into the right direction. I was too focused on getting my business up. I forgot what it means to have fun while doing lettering. When lettering became my business, it's more than just a passion now. I want it to be profitable enough so I can do it full time. But when your passion becomes a business, it becomes hard to delineate passion and business. When you're too focused on getting clients, you just forget what it means to you. And that's what happened to me. I thought I was doing well. I thought I had it under control. I thought I was doing the right things. But actually what I needed to do was to go back to basics, Scotty would always remind me, is it a hell yes or is it a hell no? And it's not all about money. I started because I like doing it. I like doing lettering. I like, I like doing chalk lettering. I like helping businesses find their voice through my work. Sure, I've gotten tips and tricks on how to improve my website, how to do hashtags, how to improve my online presence, and how to streamline my workflow in the business. Scotty has helped me through copywriting and making sure that I send the right things to the clients. But at the end of the day, I got more than what I needed. I may not have reached my goal of doubling my income this year, especially with the coronavirus situation ongoing, which means we will have to pivot to get to our goals. But I got what I needed to understand and what I needed to learn through this process. And of course, I also got the people around me who genuinely cares for my growth and for my success. And I'm glad to be part of something, having a solid community and a group of like-minded tribe can help you push yourself further. So would I say that 
the money that I invest in was worth it? Of course. At the end of the day, every one of us needs help. We are not perfect, and we are not the experts in everything. I may be doing well in lettering, but I need help with sales, I need help with marketing, I need help in engaging clients. There are a lot of things that I still need to learn, and I'm glad that I put in my first step. I know it will just grow bigger from here. So if you feel like this program is for you, do check out Scotty Russell's Side Hustler Coaching Program. He's taking in coaching students for this fall. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from my experience. And I hope I can inspire you to still invest in yourself, even though it may look like it's not the right time. Believe me, it's always good to invest in yourself. So last week was the last official day of our coaching program at Scotty Side Hustlers Coaching. And I was bummed that it was the last session, but I'm sure that every one of us will be killing it. With everything that happened so far this year, it really set things to perspective. And um, I'm really glad that I went through this program with 12 other souls who are as committed as I am to push ourselves to the limits and really be the best version of ourselves. Now, the takeaway that I want you to take from this video is that it's always good to invest in yourself. Investing in yourself will always pay off. If this resonated with you, do let me know in the comments and uh, feel free to share this with someone who might need this. This is a very tough time and it's good to keep ourselves grounded and to stay in touch with the people who matter. And that way, we will always stay victorious in whatever we do. I hope you're all gonna be okay during this time. Always stay safe and stay sane, okay? See you again next time.